Nisils. The DOA Yarmageddon main event of the evening, scheduled for one four. One four. Let's play the music and introduce the first wrestler to the please. So, folks, it is main event time here at Yarmageddon 16. And this is a match that I have been looking forward to ever since it was announced a few months ago. Making his return from the grand United States of America via Atlanta GA. Sugar Dunkerton makes his return to DOA. It's been a long time coming, but that new flavor is back in a DOA ring. And his opponent today. Gentlemen, boys and girls, introducing the greatest showman on earth, Mr. Charles Crowley. Welcome to the show. Jake Pugh said that without moving his lips. Charles Crowley making his spectacular return to DOA, folks. The self-proclaimed greatest showman in wrestling. And this one is going to be a very, very interesting, uh, interesting match indeed. It's main event time, and these are two main event performers. <laughs> so folks, Sugar Dunkerton, Charles Crowley, this is a spectacular main event for what has been a spectacular Yarmageddon.
So there we go, folks. The bell has rung for this spectacular main event. This could be one of the biggest challenges to Charles Crowley's career. <laughs> so collar and elbow tie up. Sugar Dunton who's gone to war with the likes of the banker and Tim Lee here in DOA. As well as Alexander Hyde. Springs up. Lucha style on wrist drag, but he's got the wrist control locked in. Sugar Dunkton not relent relenting on that, uh, on that hold. Now the armbar. Reversal. Roll through. Oh, reverse roll through. And again, cartwheel. Oh, and that's how you do it. Sugar Dunkerton style turns it round into that cravat neck hold. It's a very, very painful hold. Oh, sweeps the leg. And now a toe pick from Crowley. And you see how Crowley's got one leg pinned with his knee. Oh, but Shug works his way out. Look at that. Look at that nice technical ability from Sugar Dunkerton into that hammerlock. Crowley now back up to his knees. So Shug takes control with that inverted armbar. Got him hooked right underneath. Oh, I, th I think Crowley's enjoying this. <laughs> oh. Went for a shot into the uh, Greco-Roman knuckle lock. Now a test of strength. <laughs> oh, it's getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a, re a reverse hip, hip, hip attack, I guess. And again, Shug D wanting to do a little dance and Crowley puts on the brakes. I mean, this is Charles Crowley's first ever DOA main event. He wants to take this seriously where Shug D is here for a good time. Oh, turns it around. Oh, 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 oh. Is he going? Is he going for it? Is he going for it? <laughs> no. Sugar D chooses to release the hold. Oh, I love DOA. Oh, Shigley goes up through the legs. Into the, oh, wait, reverse it into a wrist. I can't keep up with this, folks. Shigley just went up a couple of gears in the blink of an eye, leapfrogs over, back down through the legs. Off the ropes. Oh, schoolboy trip. 
Oh, Superman pin. Superman pin one, two. Crowley out at two. Just like that, Sugar Dunkton turns it on. That's how good he is. Nice little knee massage. <laughs> That's a bit cheeky from Sugar Dunkerton. see some magic. That's exactly what I want to see right now. Oh. There we go. It's apparently an unpoppable balloon. <laughs> apparently an unpoppable balloon. Oh, it's close. No, 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 it's, it's unpoppable. There's a, there's a few groin muscles pulled. He might have a hernia. No, I, I guess I guess Crowley was right. That is an unpoppable balloon. Sugar Dunkton reckons he can pop the unpoppable balloon. Balloon, Sugar Dunkerson has been blinded. Quick roll at one, two. Oh, so close. But Sugar Dunkerson's blind from that, that, that magic balloon. Oh, <laughs> referee getting out of the way just in time. Sugar Dunkerson fighting blind right now. Crowley picks him up, spins him round, helicopter spin. Round and round he goes, where he stops, no one knows. Oh, oh he's mixing. No, no, he's got the referee. Oh, the referee being taken for a ride. Sugar Dunkton doesn't know who he's got. He thinks he's got Crowley. And now the referee on wobbly legs. Oh, no, the, re <laughs> the referee picks up Crowley. Oh, my goodness. And now all three men on jelly legs. <laughs> oh, what a spectacle. What a spectacle here at DOA. This is awesome. This is The crowd very appreciative of the effort of all three men in this one. And of course, no one can count the men down because the referee's down himself. Yeah. 
Irish whip from Sugar Duncanson. Goes low, goes high. Oh, look at that. Mule kick sends Charles Crowley flying across the ring. Back elbow from Crowley. Boot up. Oh, Crowley's got that balloon. Oh, Crowley knocked out, but that balloon is keeping him up. That balloon is keeping Crowley on his feet. <laughs> the balloon gets the shoulder up. And again, that balloon, that's a magic balloon right there, folks, if I ever saw one. <laughs> oh, shoot, just let go. You have to let go of that balloon. Discus forearm, and now Shug's out on his feet, and that balloon's keeping him up. Oh, headbutt, and Crowley again being kept <laughs> kept on his feet by a balloon. Forearm from Crowley. Oh, forearm from Dunkerton, and back again, back and forth they go, left and right. Who's going to be the first to drop? Both men are out, and both men are being <laughs> kept on their feet by that balloon. We, we renew this rivalry of forearms, folks. A flurry of forearms. Oh, the balloon's gone. RIP, that was my favorite balloon right there. Catches the foot, ducks the kick, but second time will get you. Carousel kick from Crowley. Oh, European uppercut in the corner. There's a second from Crowley. Oh, but Dunkerton dodged it. Crowley out the way. Blocks the shot. There's a forearm. Huge cross body from Crowley into the pin. Leg hooks. Just the two count. Oh, picks him up. Oh, but the knee up from, from Dunkerson. Oh, and there's a double palm strike and a headbutt and a knee lift. And a European uppercut. Flurry of offense from Sugar Dunkerson. Oh, Death Valley driver from Dunkerton. Two, th oh, just a two count. Uh-oh, the knee pads are down. That means danger for Crowley. A flurry of fists again from Dunkerton. He has an amateur boxing background, folks. You see this guy with a punch bag. Those fists can fly. Oh! Oh, off the ropes. Oh, spectacular spear! Spectacular spear! Two! Th oh, kick out at two. Kick out at two.
Crowley's inviting Sugar Duncan to step right up. He's about to welcome into the show. Oh, but ran straight into the knee. Dunkerton saw it coming. Oh, picks him up. Oh, spine buster. One, two. Th oh, kick out at two. Crowley went for the spear, but again in for the pin attempt and just the two. Crowley sounds exhausted. Sugar Duncan's in the firing line right now. Crowley's eyeing him up for another spear. Oh, wait, wait. Caught him. Caught him. One, two, three. Small package. Wins it for Sugar Dunkerton. Crowley went to the well one too many times on the spear attempt. And one, two, three later, Sugar Duncan picks up the victory and your main event of Yarmageddon 16. Charles Crowley came very close. Now, after our six year anniversary, whoever walks out as the DOA heavyweight champion, next time we return to Great Yarmouth, the DOA heavyweight champion, whoever that may be, will go one on one with Sugar Duncan. Folks, at the start of the night, I call DOA the land of hope and opportunity. And with a victory in the main event here at Yarmageddon 16, Sugar Dunkerton gets a World Heavyweight Championship shot next time we're here in Great Yarmouth. Uh, well, so the small package does win matches. Great, who would have thought? <laughs> Crowley, I just want you to know something before I get off on whatever else I'm about to get on. You were that close. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna front. You were that close. From one guy who's always taken as a joke and has had to prove match after match after match that I do more than just make people laugh. You got it in you. Keep going. The show and the circus is yours. Never a true word said, folks, about Mr. Charles Crowley. So, some of you know who I am and some of you don't. Some of you got a crash course introduction. Let's put it like this. I have found myself in an opportunity to be able to take the DOA Championship. Literally every match that I've been here for five tours now, I couldn't find the destiny I wanted back in America, so I came to here, to the UK, to find something, and I found a passion, not just from those guys in the back, but from all of you, for what it is that we do and we break our bodies for. So when they tell me that I've got an opportunity one shot, one opportunity to be able to take the DOA championship and make it my own. To prove that you can have such a small dream in a beginning as a country, back road place in Augusta, Georgia, and find your way in the Queens country all the way across the ocean. It doesn't matter where you're from or where you're at. It matters that you have a dream, you protect it, and you make it real. And when I get my title shot, Best believe that championship, that moment, that opportunity, that title is mine, and it very well will be real, and all of you will have to see it. Yeah. 
I keep hearing how Brit wrestling is dead. It's not dead. It may be a little bit on life support. It might cough a little bit. But the fact of the matter is there's guys like me that will sacrifice to be here. There are guys like those in the back, girls like that in the back, who want to be here, want to perform, want to take those shots to prove to you that British wrestling, British independent wrestling, is the purest, greatest, best thing that you will find in any professional wrestling ring. And I thank you all for supporting that. Heartfelt speech, folks.